Hello and welcome to the Monday Morning Reset. Uh, today we're going to continue in our series on prayers that are focused on others. And this is just a way for us to put into practice how to love others, how to serve others uh, through this spiritual component of our lives. And as we continue on, I wanted to share uh, a passage from Philippians 2. This is a letter that Paul and Timothy are writing to the church in Philippi. And chapter 2 begins by saying, if then there is any encouragement in Christ, if any consolation of love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, make my joy complete by thinking the same way. Having the same love united in spirit intent on one's purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility, consider others as more important than yourselves. Everyone should look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. What Paul is doing is he's calling us to love one another, to care for one another, and to think of others before we think of ourselves. It's, it's a way of dying to ourselves. It's a way of loving our neighbors. And this morning, we're going to continue in that by spending some time uh, focusing on prayers for other people, and specifically the people that we find ourselves interacting with on a daily basis. For those of us who are employed, that, that's our coworkers, it's our bosses. If you're a student and the folks that are teaching you, the, the faculty at your school, your classmates, if you volunteer in different places, the people who are volunteering alongside you and leading in those organizations, any place that you are spending a significant time outside of your home and that's where we wanna focus our attention this morning. So I'm going to do a general prayer just for all of us in, in these spaces in our lives. Um, but I encourage you to think of someone or, or a couple significant people. Have a teacher in mind. Have a couple co-workers in mind or, or the leaders of the organization where you're volunteering. And just spend some time lifting them up in prayer with me this morning. But then continue that out throughout the week. So I'm going to pray for us now. Father God, you know the spaces we are in each week outside of our homes, the schools, the workplaces, the places where we offer our time through volunteering. And, and God, we just, first of all, want to ask that your Holy Spirit would be leading us and convicting us, helping us to be a light in the world, helping us to be a reflection of your love and your grace to all we encounter. And we are specifically thinking today of our coworkers, of our classmates, of our teachers, of our bosses, of our leaders. And we want to lift them up to you. Help us to honor you in our relationships with them, Lord. And, and would you be with them this week, guiding them, revealing yourself to them, pouring out your grace, your mercy, your love. Would your spirit just be filling them with encouragement this week? And would you help us to be partners with your spirit in that? And we're so grateful to be able to inhabit these other spaces in our communities. And we just want to spend some time, even outside of this prayer, reflecting on these people and, and our interactions with them and, and who they are to us and more importantly who they are to you remind us that they are valued that they are loved by you lord that they are your creation and so they are worthy because you have called them worthy of our love our compassion so in your name we pray amen this week as you are outside of your homes volunteering working learning Take the time to pray for those people you are encountering, your classmates, your coworkers, your fellow volunteers, and find some times and spaces where you can be an encouragement. You can be the light of Jesus to them. The Lord bless you and keep you this week.